We're here at AUSA 2018 and I'm speaking with Mike Horn, Business Development, Navistar Defence. Mike, um, we're standing beside the, the latest generation of Navistar's Special Operations Tactical Vehicle, SOTV. Could you tell us a little bit about this latest generation platform and the evolution of the design? Uh, good morning, Sean. Yeah, we, we are excited to demonstrate and display our latest generation of Special Operations Tactical Vehicle. Over the past five years, we've evolved the design to what we have today, and it's designed to replicate uh, the, the commercial type vehicles that our special operators uh, use uh, in the theaters of operation today. Uh, but there's, it's purpose built. It, it does not come from any commercial vehicle. It's uh, designed from the ground up as a purpose built armored vehicle. It's designed with military grade components that are uh, meant to carry the weight of the armor. Uh, it certainly is much more um, maneuverable, has much higher off-road capability than the, the current vehicles that are in use today. But the main benefit of the vehicle is that it has a 15-year life cycle. It's designed for reset. And so from an affordability uh, aspect, uh, we can reset the truck at five-year intervals. Uh, and so over the, over the life cycle of the vehicle, over 15 years, it's going to be a significant cost reduction for uh, the U.S. military and our closest allies. Uh, and when you say it's a purpose designed platform and not based on anything commercial, so what we're looking at beside us here, none of those panels come from a, a commercial product, they're not a copy of any commercial product panel, and, and none of the automotives are commercial pickup truck, as it were. This is a for purpose designed by Navistar. Exactly. The, 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 the panels are designed to allow us to replicate commercial vehicles that, that our operators are using today. Uh, all the components are purposely selected to ensure that it has the capabilities that we need, the durability that we need, but it also has to be able to replicate the other vehicles that are operating on the roads. And, and does this stretch to the interior as well? Does, does the instrument binnacle or the interior, have you plucked that from a commercial product or, or again, is, is that purpose designed? Well, and again, it, it has to be functional for our special operators, but at the same time, it has to replicate or at least give the appearance of a commercial type instrument cluster, but at the same time, uh, allows it to um, be functional for the equipment that our special operators need to, to use. And, and in terms of driveline then, um, what is the drivetrain of the platform? Uh, we use a commercial Cummins engine. Uh, with the Allison transmission. Uh, the vehicle is uh, built ar around a monocoque welded safety cell that provides the structure of the vehicle. And then the front and rear uh, suspension clips are bolted to, to that uh, safety cell. It has four wheel independent suspension with 11 inches of travel, so it's highly off-road capable. But at the same time, it still fits within the envelope that allows it to be internally transportable in a CH or MH-47 helicopter. And are there any weights, dimensions, such as payload or that sort of thing that you can disclose? Well, certainly it has a uh, much higher payload than the current commercial vehicles are, uh, can carry. Uh, the, the payload is, is more than 2,500 pounds, uh, approaching 3,000 pounds. So it, it is designed, again, to carry not only the weight of the armor, but the combat load that, that our soldiers need to carry. And the vehicle is designed as armoured, but, but should anybody require, could you do or would you do a soft skin variant? That, that would be a, a little more difficult because it's not built on frame rails. Uh, and again, with, without frame rails, that, that gives us additional ground clearance. So again, off-road mobility is, is supreme, uh, but it also allows us to be low enough in order to fit inside a, a helicopter. Uh, and finally, Mike, um, are there any customers, users that you, you can disclose? Uh, I apologize at this time, it, that's not something we can talk about, uh, but we're excited to, to talk about the vehicle and we're again, we're really happy to have uh, our latest generation special operations tactical vehicle here at the show. Excellent, thank you very much.